Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I will explain you the easiest way to find the output of a given program in QBasic. This is important question in exam for two marks. So you need to make a dry run table and display the output of the program. So in the exam, program will be given to you like this. In here, I have used the sub procedure like, and we need to show the steps in dry run table and display the output finally. So this is the easiest way to do using the table. So let's try this. Declare sub S E R A comma B. First of all, while making a table, you need to write the variable name which is used in the program. So I have written here A B because it is used here in the bracket A and B. After that, we can see X comma C also in used in sub procedure. So X comma C I have written here. Then after that, we have this condition while condition C less than or equals to 5. So this is the condition I have written here. Then after that, we have variable S. So I have written this here. Then after that also, there is a print statement. Whenever you see print in QBasic, that is for output. It will display the data in the output. So I have written here output. For print, we should write output. Then after that, C equals C plus 1. So C is already written here. So no need to write it twice. Fine. So we can start the dry run. Okay, so we have to start from it here. This is main module. So let's write variable value. So a equals to 2, I will write here 2. Then in the next line, b equals to 1, I will write here 1. Then after that, we call the sub ser and we are passing the value of a comma b. So value of a is what? 2, value of b is what? 1. So we pass the value of A and value of B. From here, the control will go directly to the sub procedure here. So in here, what we have written here is in the bracket X comma C. So the value of A, the first variable will be received by the value of in variable X. So the value of A will be received by X. So value of A is what? 2. So X value also 2. So the next parameter here is B and the B value will be received by C in the same sequence. So value of B is what? 1. So value of C also 1. Fine. So A comma B value is received by X comma C in the same sequence. Done. After this loop will start in the loop C less than or equals to 5. So value of C is what? 1. So 1 less than or equals to 5 means condition true. When condition is true, inside the loop, we have written here three line of code. So first line, let's start. X equals to X exponential C. So this means X value is what? Check here, 2. 2 exponential for how much? C. C value is 1. So 2 to the power of 1, that means 2. Value of S is 2. So print S. Whenever you see print statement, this means we need to print the value in the output screen. So print S means in the output, we should print the value of S. That is what you can see here, 2. So output is 2. Then, okay. After this print, it is written here C equals to C plus 1. So value of C is incremented by 1. So initially value of C was 1. So C plus 1 means 1 plus 1. So this is like C equals to C plus 1. So value of C is already 1 above. So 1 plus 1, this is what? 2. So value of C is 2. Now, when. When means end of while loop. This means W for while, END for end, while loop end. But before it end, it will go back to the while loop again and check the condition. So it will come here and check the condition. Now, in condition C less than or equals to 5. So value of C is 2. 2 less than or equals to 5, condition is again true. Yeah, 2 is less than 5. So condition is true. When condition is true, it will again execute this three line of code inside the while loop. The first line is S equals to X exponential C. So we'll go to the X here. Now X equals to X exponential 2. That means X power value of X is 2. So 2 power C value of C is also 2. So this is 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the 4. So value of x will be not x, value of s will be s equals to written here. So value of s will be 4. 
okay then print as print as means value of s is what latest value 4 so output also 4 whenever you see print you should write that value in the output screen this is output for now then after printing c equals to c plus 1 again value of c will be incremented by 1 so initially it was 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 then when when means while loop end but before it end it check the condition by going here control back to the while loop now in the while loop c less than equals to 5 value of c the latest value is 3 3 less than equals to 5 condition is true because 3 is less than 5 again condition true then again it will calculate the value so s equals to x exponential c s equals to in this s column value of x x exponential c value of x is what it is not changed so it is 2 exponential the initial value was 2 so it is not changed so value is 2 2 exponential c value of c is changed so this so 2 to the power of 3 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 8 2 into 2 into 2 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 so done 2 cube you can say like that okay so it is 8 after that print s print s value of s is 8 so in the output 8 then after printing c equals to c plus 1 again increment the value of c by 1 this is c column now value will be 4 because it was 3 now when when means while loop end but before it end it will go back from here to here to check the condition so in the condition c less than equals to 5 c is what now 4 4 less than equals to 5 condition is true because 4 is less than 5 when condition is true s equals to s exponential c value of x was 2 it is not changed so 2 exponential c c is 4 so 4 now this is what 2 to the power of 4 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 like this 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 so 2 to the power of 4 is what 16 so print s so 16 will be printed here after printing c equals to c plus 1 is here so increment the value of c by 1 it will be 5 now again when when means while loop end but before end it will go back again check the condition c less than equals to 5 5 c value is 5 5 less than or equals to 5 yes true why it is true because it is 5 is not less than 5 but equals to 5 so this is what less than or equals to so it is again true when true then again three line of code will be executed so s equals to x power c s this is s column s equals to value of x is 2 2 exponential 5 this means 2 to the power of 5 that means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 16 to the 32 so this is what 32 now print s value of s latest value is 32 so whenever you see print that is output so we have printed 32 in the output screen then c equals to c plus 1 again value of c is what initially 5 as you can see above 5 plus 1 is 6 fine wind wind means again it will go to the while loop and check the condition now value of c is 6 so c 6 is less than equals to 5 6 is not less than 5 and not equals to 5 also so this is what condition false when condition is false the while loop is false it will not going to execute this line of code it will go directly just after the wind after wind what is written here is end sub end sub means or this sub procedure tax is completed so from here it will go back to the sub procedure call from where this sub procedure is called from here so this is done now it will go to the next line that is end now this is the end of the program and this is our dry run table and this is our final output hope you understand this video if not then again watch this video once again and write the steps in your copy and it will be very much clear for you thank you for watching have a great day and see you in the next video with another dry run program